Hi, how are you? Thank you for joining me again. I'm Jose Saldana. This is my daily devotion. Appreciate you taking just a few minutes to listen here. And hopefully I can teach you something, help you uh, be encouraged today, maybe give you something to think about, hopefully something to share. Today we're looking at Mark chapter 10, verses 29 and 30, and we're talking about quality investments. In the context of this scripture, his disciples are asking, mainly Peter's asking, he says, Lord, we've left everything to follow you. What's going to be our reward? And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that hath left house or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and for the gospels. But he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the world to come eternal life. When I first started walking in this way, one thing I understood from the get go was that it was going to cost me something eventually. Initially, it doesn't cost you anything to respond to the gospel. You hear the gospel and you have the opportunity to respond freely your choice. God chose by the foolishness or the simplicity of preaching to save them that believe, and that doesn't cost me much of anything. I respond by faith, but God has already given to me the measure of faith that I needed to respond anyway. To repent and ask for forgiveness, that's pretty much free as well. God has given us the gift of repentance or remission of sins. Then God has promised to give the gift of the Holy Ghost, and if a gift cost me anything, it wouldn't be much of a gift at all. That would just be something I'd be buying for myself. Looking back over history and through the New Testament, it was evident that everyone that followed after Christ paid a cost. Every apostle paid the price and many early Christians paid with their lives. So if it costs so many people so much, why wouldn't it cost me anything? Why wouldn't it cost you anything? And we've all encountered people that would look at this verse and say, wow, Jesus is saying nobody ever had to make a sacrifice and there wouldn't ever be a cost to follow after him, but you would receive a reward. The gospel never cost anybody anything. It absolutely will cost you something, but your return on investment is through the roof. Even in this life, the Lord promises that you will be blessed abundantly over when you read this verse, notice he says you will receive a hundred times as much. Not necessarily a hundred times as many. God doesn't promise to multiply your quantity, but to immensely multiply your quality. Every instance, every aspect, every section, every uh, page of your life is improved greatly when you start living for God. Your friends are of a higher quality when you find them in the church. Uh, your family when serving God together is of a higher quality. Your family life together is higher quality. Your whole um, your whole being, everything that you do, your, your ability to work and build relationships and walk through this life with peace and confidence and a victory, your quality of life is so much better. Our whole life, um, talking about my family, my cousins growing up, anyone who was connected to us and would get introduced to the rest of our family, uh, would express great admiration for the closeness and the quality of relationships our family shared. And to me, it's obvious why is because our mothers and our aunts were gospel involved people. And that trickles down, that carries on. And uh, we live blessed because we are gospel involved people. We were raised uh, with that influence in the church. Everything gets better. It's a promise and God cannot lie and he cannot break his promise. He will never owe anyone anything. So no matter what the implied cost is, if you give it up, you will get back 100 fold. He will not owe you anything. And then to top it off, he'll give you eternal life. What a great investment.